What's up, gamers? How's it going? This is Nerdicus over here. Um, you know what? I'm going to jump right into it. This is episode 23 of the Retro Halls. Nothing crazy this week. Um, but this week marks the beginning of garage sale season. Uh, garage sales were posted this morning. This is a nice weekend. It's like 60 degrees outside. Very comfortable. But I can already tell this is going to be a rough season. Uh, oh, man. I think, I think I'm going to have to do another video this week on, like, how to survive garage sales now as a video game collector because it is absolutely terrible. Like, oh, I mean, I went to a few sales today, found some PS2 games, but that was about it. But every other sale I went to, people were, hey, got any video games? Hey, got any video games? Hey, got any video games? I'm looking for a damn video games. You got damn video games over there? Everybody is asking for video games. I can't even go to a sale without someone coming up behind me. Like, you got any games? Like, they're not even, like, collectors. They're just... All the people that were asking for games today were, like, in their 50s, these older couples asking for games. I'm like, why? Why, why is this happening? And <clears throat> someone, um... Someone had a bunch of... A sack of PS1 games. All terrible titles. Like, sport games and, like, gambling games. I don't know. Crap. All crap. I was like, whatever, how much you want for it? He's like, well, everyone's asking for them video games now, so how about 50 for everything? I'm like, dude, you barely have $10 worth of stuff here. And sure enough, I am leaving. A couple walks up, have any video games? And he's like, everybody's asking for video games. Here, I have these. They wiggle him down to $40, and they bought it. They bought $10 worth of games for $40. And you know they're just going to go out to Amazon and try to flip it. <coughs> whatever. Oh, I hate garage sales. The season's going to be bad. Anyway, um, let's get into it. Uh, enough of my complaining. Um, <laughs> crap. Yeah, so these are my pickups for this week. So let's go right into story time. Now, the story is divided up into three segments this week. You've got story number one which is a Facebook pickup. Um, the guy tried to send me pictures of what he had. He, he answered one of my ISO posts. He's like, I got an Atari. I'm like, okay. He's like, I'll try to take pictures. And he sent me pictures, but they didn't work. It was like, attachment not found or something in the Facebook message. I'm like, I can't see your pictures, dude. And, <coughs> sorry, I'm sick still, so. Coffee time. And he says to me, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, well, there's an Atari box stuff. Uh, Atari games, I got some Nintendo games in here too, and some extra stuff. I'm like, that doesn't help at all. So I'm like, um, what, what do you, what do you have Nintendo-wise? And he says to me, oh, Mario and Flintstones. I'm thinking to myself, Mario and Flintstones, huh? Okay, how about 50 bucks for everything? 50 bucks for everything you got. He says, okay. Sounds good. Uh, we'll meet up tomorrow. So I meet him. You'll see later on what happens with that, with the haul. <laughs> um, so there's that pickup. <laughs> you got uh, the garage sale pickup with the PS2 games. That's really nothing. I was like, oh, 10 games. How much do you want? $10. Okay. 10 for 10. There you go. <laughs> and last pickup is actually... Oh, a good friend Sal from Long Island Retro Gamers. He owns a PETA shop right by my house, and he does these fire sales all the time, so these are just a bunch of Nintendo games I picked up at a great price from him, and I got a gyro out of it. So, PETA, gyros, video games, two thumbs up. Uh, and before I start coughing like a maniac, because <coughs> I already am coughing, um, let's go right into the hall, shall we? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is this PS2 games I got out of the yard sale. Um, she posted his yard sale on Facebook, and she's like, I'm having a yard sale tomorrow. And she said she, she had PS2 games there, because uh, I messaged her, I'm like, what do you have at your yard sale? She's like, oh, I have some video games. PS2 games. I'm like, okay, I'll be there. Really close to my house, so I was like, whatever. I uh, got there, she had these 10 games out. <coughs> that was it, though. She said, oh, yeah, she said she had other stuff, but she threw it out. Isn't that something you always want to hear? Oh, sorry, I threw out my games. Yes. And, um... She's like, oh, if I find any more, I'll let you know. I'm like, please say you throw out all the good ones. So, anyway, 10 for 10. I think it's 10, right? Oh, 11. I got 11 games for $10. Even better. So, um, it's all, it's not really that great. Uh, first game up. 
rock band. No, no crap with it. No band set or anything. Um, this is like my first time looking at them too, because I didn't even look. I just grabbed them. Uh, Corvette. Uh, the good thing is uh, all these games are complete, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm missing manuals or anything. Um, cool game. Uh, Jack X Combat Racing. There it is. New Jack set of racing game. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. MIB Alien Invasion with a bunch of stickers on it. Uh, Everything or Nothing, 007. Got Crash Tag Team Racing. Power Rangers! Down the Thunder. Quantum of Solace, probably the worst Bond film. I don't know, what was worse? This one or the other one? No, this one's pretty bad. This one sucked too. Uh, World Thoroughbred Championships. Can't wait to play this game. This is like a really rare horse racing game on PlayStation or something. I think it's something else. And last, Warriors of Might and Magic. <clears throat> Not bad for ten bucks. I mean, you can't only complain. It's worth more than ten dollars. But um, let's get into uh, the Peta Hall because those are always fun. I spent. Oh, I forgot. These are all from the PETA place. Sorry. These are one... <clears throat> three of these are Super Bowl sales. Uh, what I do on Super Bowl Sunday, I always look on eBay because there's usually deals. And I managed to snag these for 20 bucks or 25 something like that. Which is a hell of a deal. 25 bucks for these games. Shut up. Every time I'm making a video on Facebook. I choke my volume. Hold on. Sorry. And, um... Yeah, so 20 or $25 for these three. And I didn't have these in my collection, so... Awesome to get. I'll just hit him up all at once. Uh, I'll do it one time. So we got uh, Lolo one, Lolo two, and Lolo three. I like how Lolo three has a price to grow four fifty on the back. But <clears throat> yeah, such a sweet deal. Uh, point of advice: you want to get a good score on eBay, look on Super Bowl Sunday, because nobody is looking at eBay on Super Bowl Sunday except for me. And maybe a few other people. But yeah, 20 or $25 for these. I'll take it. Um, <clears throat> these are the pickups I got from Sal over at Peter Lovers by my house. Uh, once again, I didn't have these in my collection either. Um, I don't remember how much I spent. I think $35 for all these. Yeah, $35 for all these. So I got a Dirty Harry. Terrible game, but I didn't have it. Uh, it has a manual though, too, which is pretty cool. Uh, Gauntlet 2, and one of my favorite Nintendo games of all time, River City Ram, so can't wait to play this game again. Haven't played it in a long time, but I love it. Um, now for the last all, the guy I met on Facebook would be the parent Flintstones game that I was going to shit myself about. <coughs> Sorry, drink, my bad. I'm out of coffee too, crap. Um, so he said he had the Atari, so of course... Atari. I have, I've gotten like five of these the past month. I don't need any more. But he did have this, which is a really cool. Uh, it's Atari Game Center box, which I don't have, which I actually like the box a lot. <coughs> so the system, uh, the box, and he has like five, six controllers in there, which is a pretty good amount of... I have so many Atari controllers too, I can't even tell you. I've got like 30 Atari controllers now. Um, a nice stack of games. And I don't even know this. video computer system logbook. Record your greatest scores. Be a pro master wizard. Organize video game tournaments. Okay, whatever. And here are the Atari games I got. Star Master. When I looked at this, I thought it said Stair Master. Uh, Space Invaders. Video Chess. Baseball. Pac-Man. Every Atari system, you gotta have Pac-Man. Combat. Missile Command. And Asteroids. I mean, those games are in okay shape. Some of the stickers are falling off again, but they always fall off these games, so... Then he had... This stuff. 
This is the extras you said he had. I didn't know what they were. Uh, he has a Super Nintendo instruction set. He says he has a system somewhere. And games. He just doesn't know where. It says kids men have taken an after divorce or something like that. I don't know. A Sega system thing. He says yeah, kids grew up with all this crap. Had all the guides. He had an instruction manual for Mario Kart. An instruction manual for Mario World. And a Super Nintendo instruction manual. So, that's cool. And he had... Enter the Jungle Tape for Donkey Kong. I don't think I have this one. Because I like collecting these old Nintendo tapes. I have to see if I have this one. I don't think I do. But if I do, I'll probably give it away. Because these tapes are awesome. Corniest tapes ever, but... So that's cool. And then he had... A bunch of games in these colorful Nintendo brand cases. Um, they're so pretty. Look at neon they are. Ooh. Originally from Toys R Us for 89 cents. Not bad for a case. <clears throat> and he had these games. Dr. Mario. Bo Jackson Baseball. Apparently his kid's name is TK. World Games. Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Hey look, another Carmen San Diego game. I just got another Carmen San Diego game. <laughs> Um, what else we got? We have, uh, oh yeah, Flintstones. Remember that? Well, it wasn't the Flintstones I wanted, unfortunately. It was the other Flintstones, the Rescue of Dino and Hoppy, which I already have. But, this guy had it in a nice, pristine box. I mean, another box game to add to my collection, so why the hell not? Of course, I would have loved it. It was, uh... The Dino Peak <laughs> complete box, but can't win them all, right? But still, love it. I'll now I'll be able to give away my uh, other one or sell the other one. But yeah, complete box, instruction manual, and all, and really good condition. <clears throat> so that's it for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Now for the question. Okay, we're gonna talk about garage sales again. Question is: In your area. Have garage sales gotten significantly worse for video games? And if so, give me an example of some of your worst experiences garage sale hunting for video games. Because I've got plenty. I'm definitely making a video about it this week. On how to score at garage sales and how to deal with bullshit. So, yeah. Answer the question. Be entered in next week's raffle. And as always, like if you like the video. Comment if you want to comment. And subscribe if you like what you see. Because I'll be doing this every week. But, till next time, guys, keep on gaming. <laughs> Latest. What's up guys, we're going to make this quick and painless, we're going to go right into it and choose the winner for last week's raffle. Uh, like I said, you had to like, comment, and subscribe uh, to the channel, and the comment had to have been the answer to last week's question. Uh, please watch the video that you just watched again <laughs> to find out the question for next week. And um, here we go. Uh, we got... We got... This real quick. We got Tomahawk 12, Tio, CJ987, Rob Mitchell, Hector Corey, Vigil Gamer, Retro Power Up, Retro Hound, Billy Lemons, and Crazy Kupon. Well, let's see who freaking wins this prize. Hmm. You, you can win this over and over again, so there could be double winners. I have no idea. But who's winning this week? That's 30 seconds this time. A nice and long, drawn out roll. Let's slow him down, though. We'll see who wins. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, Billy Lemons. Congratulations. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, can you send me your information? Where I can send stuff? I'll probably be sending it out in the next week or so. I try to send it out in packages. So, congratulations, Billy Lemons. You are a winner. And uh, until next week, try. See you later, guys. Keep on gaming.
What's up, gamers? How's it going? This is Nerdicus over here. Um, you know what? I'm gonna jump right into it. This is episode 23 of the Retro Halls. Nothing crazy this week. Um, but this week marks the beginning of garage sale season. Uh, garage sales were posted this morning. This is a nice weekend. It's like 60 degrees outside. Very comfortable. But, I can already tell this is gonna be a rough season. Uh, oh man. I think, I think I'm gonna have to do another video this week on like, how to survive garage sales now as a video game collector because it is absolutely terrible. Like, oh, I mean, I went to a few sales today, found some PS2 games, but that was about it. But every other sale I went to, people were, hey, got any video games? Hey, got any video games? Hey, got any video games? And I got a gyro out of it. So, PETA, gyros, video games, two thumbs up. Uh, and before I start coughing like a uh, maniac, because <coughs> I already am coughing, um, let's go right into the hall, shall we? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is this PS2 game to get out of yard sale. Um, she posted this yard sale on Facebook, and she's like, I'm having a yard sale tomorrow. And she said she had PS2 games there, because uh, I messaged her, I'm like, what do you have at your yard sale? She's like, oh, I have some video games. PS2 games. I'm like, okay, I'll be there really close to my house. I was like, whatever. I uh, got there. She had these 10 games out. <coughs> that was it, though. She said, oh, yeah, she said she had other stuff, but she threw it out. Isn't that something you always want to hear? Oh, sorry. I threw out my games. Yes. And, um, she's like, oh, if I find any more, I'll let you know. I'm like, well, you say you threw out all the good ones. So, anyway, 10 for 10. I think it's 10, right? The games. I got some Nintendo games in here, too, and some extra stuff. I'm like, that doesn't help at all. So, I'm like, um, what, what do you, what do you have Nintendo-wise? And he says to me, Oh, Mario and Flintstones. I'm thinking to myself, Mario and Flintstones, huh? Okay, how about 50 bucks for everything? 50 bucks for everything you got. He says, okay, sounds good, uh, we'll meet up tomorrow. So I meet him. You'll see later on what happens with that, with the haul. <laughs> um, so there's that pickup. You got uh, the garage sale pickup with the PS2 games. That's really nothing. I was like, oh, 10 games. How much do you want? $10. Okay. 10 for 10. There you go. And last pickup is actually... Oh, a good friend Sal from Long Island Retro Gamers. He owns a PETA shop right by my house. And he does these fire sales all the time. So these are just a bunch of Nintendo games I picked up at a great price from him. Looking for damn video games. You got damn video games over there? Everybody is asking for video games. I can't even go to a sale without someone coming up behind me. Like, you got any games? Like, they're not even like collectors. They're just all the people that were asking for games today were like in their fifties. These older couples asking for games. I'm like, why? Why, why is this happening? And <clears throat> someone, um, someone had a bunch of a sack of PS1 games, all terrible titles, like sport games and like gambling games. I don't know, crap, all crap. I was like, whatever, how much you want for it? He's like, well, everyone's asking for them video games now, so how about 50 for everything? I'm like, dude, you barely have $10 worth of stuff here. And sure enough, I am leaving. A couple walks up, have any video games? And he's like, everybody's asking for video games. Here, I have these. They wiggle him down to $40, and they bought it. They bought $10 worth of games for $40. And you know they're just going to go out to Amazon and try to flip it. <coughs> whatever. Oh, I hate garage sales. This season's going to be bad. Anyway, um, let's get into it. Uh, enough of my complaining. Um, <laughs> crap. Yeah, so these are my pickups for this week. So let's go right into story time. Now, the story is divided up into three segments this week. You've got story number one which is a Facebook pickup. Um, the guy tried to send me pictures of what he had. He, he answered one of my ISO posts. He's like, I got an Atari. I'm like, okay. He's like, I'll try to take pictures. And he sent me pictures, but they didn't work. because like, attachment not found or something in the Facebook message. I'm like, I can't see your pictures, dude. And, <coughs> sorry, I'm sick still, so. Coffee time. And he says to me, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, well, there's an Atari box stuff. Uh, Atari 